everyone, uh, my name is Darius Woods. I'm a, a staff attorney at the Lancho Legal Aid Society and an Equal Justice Works Fellow funded by the Home Depot and Everset Sutherland. Uh, basically, my fellowship is surrounded around predatory housing and predatory financing in the housing market. I was primarily working on something called a contract for deed. And contract for deeds are basically agreements to give you the deed to a property uh, after you pay off the contract. So unlike regular mortgages, where you get title to the property at the beginning, contract for deed sellers uh, give you the deed to the property after the contract is paid off. Our communities, uh, African American communities, are the ones that are tar targeted for these predatory financing transactions. And uh, we recently had a, a, a really big lawsuit dealing with one of these contract for deed investment firms. And this particular investment firm had purchased a lot of con uh, houses after the foreclosure crisis and the housing crisis. Uh, so in 2012, they were purchasing houses uh, a lot in South DeKalb for $20,000. And they would not do any repairs or fix them up uh, in any kind of way and sell them to African-American potential home buyers in these contract for deed transactions for double the price without doing any repair work. And the contract mandated that they had to make the property habitable within four months and continue making their regular payments uh, for 30 years. And then they get so a lot of people in South DeKalb in particular defaulted and in Latonia defaulted on their contract for deed payments and they were threatened with eviction that they were just renters, even though they had invested thousands and thousands of dollars trying to make this home habitable for their family. So we recently resolved that lawsuit uh, and got a lot of our clients their homes, uh, and we got a pretty good outcome for our client. In addition to that, uh, I work on general mortgage stuff as far as like if a family is at risk of uh, a foreclosure sale or facing foreclosure, we help help that family potentially apply for a loan modification or a program like Home Safe Georgia or other loss mitigation programs that are available. And in some instances, if they, we feel like there is no, no programs that they qualify for, but we would recommend filing a Chapter 13 bankruptcy to work out a way uh, to make sure their house isn't foreclosed on. Specifically now on home purchase and home sale scams, uh, because the market is kind of you know, getting back to what it was uh, pre-foreclosure crisis and property values are rising. There are also a lot of people uh, who are targeting low-income communities and uh, communities of color for uh, quick home sale scams. Uh, they're offering to buy the house for a, a discounted rate and a lot of people don't, aren't really aware of what their house is actually worth. So we've had cases where houses are worth $400,000, but you have a home sales scammer coming and saying, you know, I'll buy your house for cash for $90,000. And sometimes people take that deal because they don't know and because the transaction happens so fast. Uh, typically in those home sale transactions, you'll see one of those signs on a light pole that says, hey, call us, uh, we buy your house as is, fast sale. They'll come to your house the same day and try to get you to sign a purchase and sales agreement. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that when they sign that purchase and sales agreement, they have a right to rescind for uh, three days in most cases. But in some cases, you might not have a right to rescind at all. And even if you have a three-day right of, uh, of rescission, uh, after that three-day period, if you don't do anything, you're still legally bound by that contract. And we also work on home purchase scams. Uh, people who are trying to sell you houses uh, in different types of ways. Primarily what we're seeing now is uh, lease to purchase uh, scams. And the thing about lease to purchase in particular is that usually a lease to purchase agreement requires you to make a substantial down payment for your, your option to purchase. Uh, but what lease to purchase uh, sellers don't tell you is that after your lease uh, is expired, so let's just say in a traditional lease to purchase, you may have a two-year lease agreement, and then after that expired, then you can exercise your option. There's a provision that says, hey, yeah, exercise my option. What a lot of people don't understand is at that point that they still have to be able to qualify for traditional financing. 
So if two years prior, uh, they did not qualify for traditional financing and they got into a lease to purchase agreement because they didn't qualify for traditional financing and they haven't done anything to improve their credit or their ability to qualify within those two year period, the lease period, then once the lease, the option period, when it, the time comes to exercise the option period, if they can't exercise that, then they lose all the money that they paid towards the house and they can no longer exercise this option. Uh, also, I find that lease with the option agreements uh, make you responsible for repairs. And that's actually against the law to make a tenant responsible for repair, repairs. And at that time, during that lease period, you are a tenant. And we here as Atlanta Legal Aid to help. Uh, we have a whole home defense program. And our home defense program is focused on providing services to homeowners, uh, potential homeowners, or even people who want to sell their homes and they just want to make sure they're not being taken advantage of in that process. A homeowner should contact Legal Aid, um, and in particular our department, which is the Home Defense Program, when uh, you're potentially facing foreclosure, or and even if you think uh, you're about to default. So let's say you're just behind on your mortgage payments, or you know you recently lost your job and you're worried about your mortgage payments. Uh, you can contact our office then because there are loan modification programs or loss mitigation programs that you can apply for where you're at imminent risk of default. So it's best to get on it uh, ahead of time. If you feel, uh, you should also contact our office if you feel like you've been taken advantage of in financing in a predatory loan. Uh, if you feel like you've been taken advantage of in a home sales scam or a home purchase scam. Uh, if you have uh, specific tax issues, uh, potentially facing a tax foreclosure, and you're curious about how to deal with that. Uh, if um, a relative of yours has uh, passed away and you inherited, inherited their property, but the mortgage company won't communicate with you or give you any information about that property, that's a good time to contact our office. So whenever you're dealing with something, uh, an issue regarding home ownership that you feel uh, you don't know where to go, and you uh, just want some general advice about home ownership and maintaining the home because our priorities are keeping people in their homes and saving their equity, that's when you can contact our office. However, if someone does get into a contract for deed or if you have a contract for deed and you're embarrassed because you realize what it is now, contact us uh, immediately. There's not necessarily a, a a straightforward approach of going about these contracts for deeds is very uh, specific to the individual. Uh, it depends on when you executed a contract for deed. So if you executed one in 2019 or even in 2018, we have some legal claims that we can bring towards those, those executions. But if you executed one in the past, there are other things that we have to go through uh, because there may be some statute of limitations issue issues that prevents us from bringing legal claims towards that contract deed.